Good boy. Are you doing your makeup? Yeah, we're good. The river runs through it. Park? Sketchy park. Don't make she broke. That thing though. <laughs> Clean what? Yeah, that's new. What have you bought? Halloween. What is that noise? Shirley, the shiverter. We got it. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> you saw it. Keep pile. We'll get a dollar out of that. CR1657. No. <coughs> 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 Oh Lord, we're gonna put that away. <laughs> I think you need one Heavy duty radiator. Michelob. Ball. Still oh my in there. gosh. Brittle. Put that in the keep pile, honey. I'm running away. Flip hair. Oh, whoa. Dollar. Hey, Brandon. She's back. 38 years. This truck's paying off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, on my arm, on my arm. <laughs> Transmission scientist. The money pit. 40s on it. Right, Oliver? Brittle beans. Brittle Catch the Pepsi spirit. No way. <laughs> <laughs> 55,000 miles with one owner. <laughs> a, B, C, D. Hey, everywhere. Good to the last drop. He's sitting on his head. Ralphie, I've got boots on, which means it's about to get real serious, isn't it? We got to go down there past this grumpy bull right here and get this K-15 out of the mud so we can clean it up and see what we got to work with. But it's very muddy down there, so uh, I don't know how well this is gonna go. But we got mom's kid hauler here and we got the winch mounted to the back of it. So how could this not work? Exactly. We're gonna see if we can pull that thing out with the winch and we gotta air the casings up and try to get well, it started I'll, back up. I'll get them for you. Oh, Ralphie's gonna get the bull out of the way. Don't you worry. We don't know why the bull doesn't like vehicles, but he hates them. Hopefully, Rojo, you be good. And it's pretty swampy down here. It's been raining ever since this thing got stuck down here. I was hoping it dry up and I could just drive it out, but it ain't looking that way. Good boy. Are you doing your makeup while we're doing this? Quit being on me. She's doing her makeup while we're pulling this thing out. What the heck? Hopefully he'll just stay over there. I don't know how this vehicle survived. That's probably about as far as you can go without getting in the mud down here. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. So we got our winch, we got our go bag air compressor, we got a battery for the truck, a battery for the winch, a jump box in case one of them dies, and our boat tank. Is that enough? Wah -wah? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Hey, I want you to look how wet my casings are just from driving down here. It hasn't rained in two days. Yeah. That's reassuring. Right, let's see this thing reach over there. I don't know if it'll reach or not. Surely. Yeah, it'll really work. got some. Yeah, we're good. I'm sure that bopper's solid, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No. Oh. 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 Okay. You may want to read that. You need to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate that. That bumper is not solid. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I trust that. Hopefully they'll hold air long enough for us to get out of here. All flat? Yeah. Is that the report? The front left, there's water going over the bottom of the wheel. Ah. This thing is literally stuck in the creek down here. Look how much water we got. Look at the other you better back up with them fancy shoes you got on. Oh, wow. The river runs through it, literally. Wow. That's exactly what I was going to say. Incredible. And look how flat that is. Hopefully it'll all air back up. Make it a lot easier to get here. Oh, she's going to air up. For sure. She's good to go. Do you think she'll start right back up and pull out of here? Yes. Maybe. Well, maybe not pull out of Well, yeah, yeah. Once we get up the hill. But... That's so funny. The water around through. <laughs> Where are you doing? We got above the water level now. Come on. I'm good. Right, I'm just going to put it in neutral first. We're going to try to winch it up out of here as far as we can.
gosh, it's cold. Come here, Ralphie. It needs to be choked. Try it again. Like, oh, it was flexing yeah. with a bit. Okay, surely we can drive out of here now. Is she? Is it in park? It's supposed to be. Oh yeah, it had a sketchy park. Hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> this thing really don't have the best park <laughs> for whatever reason. Come on back. We should be able to get out of here under our own power now, but we have no brakes. We only have reverse, neutral, and kind of park. get that thing out of there man we splashed water all over our compressor and everything didn't we and that old 350 you can't keep these things down they just keep running don't they we're gonna do a cleanup video on this thing now and see what we got see what's inside the cab what's uh, usable what's not are you excited about that yes can i dump the water sure oh he's definitely gonna get it wet <laughs> Well, that was easier than I thought to get that thing out. I really thought it would take more than that. And the bull didn't give us a hard time today. Yeah, bull didn't bother us. Mom's car didn't get stuck. She about pulled the back end off that thing, though. <laughs> the engine died, and I was still flying backwards. But <laughs> Are y'all ready to clean this thing up? Clean what? What? what the K-15, the 76 mile K-15. It's a jewel. Yeah. It's a jewel. Like hey, they sell every body panel for this thing. I should need to the hood. We're going to clean it up. And we're gonna see what we got. It's just ventilation right here. We also need to figure out why our full drive don't work. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> it's your, you throwing something? It's your brake. I got you. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering why it was like stopping like that. I didn't know why it was stopping. <laughs> I was just not just going to end yeah, up in my pool. It, it, it doesn't really even have park correctly. So the shifter must be a little bit out of adjustment. But obviously this is not going to be some normal cleanup video. All we're trying to do here is figure out what we have. We're probably going to take the transmission pan down in this video. Check about the transfer case and hub. See why we only have reverse. See how much truck is left after we wash it. Right. Figure out what's worth saving, what's not, what we can do with this thing. But we're going to find out in this video what we have to work with here, what we can do with it, and figure out what parts we need to get this thing drivable. Oh my God, what is it leaking? Oh, wow. I didn't... Yeah, that's new. That's transmission fluid. I wonder if the vent's still not uh, working correctly for the transmission. So that's a new problem. It's not, it's not breathing somehow because it's pushing it out the dipstick, I guess. Hi, hey, look at this. We must have lost a belt on the way over here. When the, this truck is falling apart. What have you bought? I don't see any fluid over here on the way. What have you bought? I don't know. I'm telling you, we just lose the pieces. I mean, right? in the last 20 feet here, we've dumped the transmission fluid out and we've lost our belt. Great. Yeah. 
We lost the water pump alternator belt somehow. Dang, old son. I wasn't even revving it up. I see the transmission dipstick is sticking up. Oh, she's about to blow out one. So it must have blew it out of there. Rocky, you ready to clean up a truck? Hi, Wayne. What's he doing? Well, let's get inside this thing and see what we got to work with. He's going to want to get inside of it. Maybe we can find parts in here that tell us what's wrong with it. Jamal, he has been living in the house. That's why you haven't seen him much. He is uh, been a mess of the Christmas he, tree. We live in his house now. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what is that noise? So some of this stuff back here was stuff that we took off the truck. I mean, who needs breathers, right? We probably should stick that thing back on it now. We also have all this stock exhaust system junk that we just need to scrap and get rid of. What is this? Though? That's a tractor part, right? Isn't that some sort of a blade off a tractor part? Oh, I don't know. My tractor don't have that. Our stock exhaust manifold we took off to do our. They was our... like rusted when they rusted. Yeah, we replaced there. these with some stainless hooker headers. Oh, Kitty's already in here. I, Ralphie, put some PB blaster on these. We might can get these hinges working again. They don't look bent. But they just rusted up. If you put some PB blaster in some of these joints. I think we can eventually get that done. We need to get a new hood for it at least. Now this don't even fit this thing. This is five lug. Watch out, that looks like it's off a car. But we might can use the hoop for something around here, huh? My grandpa could tell me exactly what that's off of, for sure. He would know, wouldn't he? Yes. I'm kind of scared to step on this bumper after it about fell off. Yeah, she ain't hanging on by much. I think it's only got about two bolts holding it on. Man, look at that, Ralphie. I'd keep it and fix the threads. Fix the thread, run a dial with those threads. Yeah. Might work, okay. huh? It was like a half inch piece of all yeah, thread. I think it is. Yeah, well, maybe we can use it for something, right? Yeah, surely. Surely? Shifter. So we've already got a keep pile and a scrap pile going and a trash pile over here. What are you doing? Hey, it just chases everything nowadays. What are you chasing? All right, well, let's see what we got inside of it. How about that? Yeah. So in here, we got the old quadrajet in here, which I'm sure is still rebuildable because this thing is not stuck at all. So we will definitely put that in the keep pile. This is like hoarders. Yes. Keep pile, a yeah. trash pile, a donate pile. Yeah. I don't know about this, if that's worth keeping. We got a bunch of belts and stuff in here. Hey, we may have the belt to fix our broken belt right here, Ralphie. One of these might fit it. I wonder if any, well, those look too short. That's really short. It might be like for a mower or a tractor possible we'll put it in the keep pile though you got the old water spigot there yeah is it seized up on you no it's just a little tough we gotta get the gun rack back in place we can put the old ar up there shotgun or something huh yeah i know there's some ammunition in this thing we need to put that cover back on the distributor distributor this is salad yeah, and it was 89 hey. cents hey it's still it's still you think we can open the jar we should open the jar yeah. can you get it <sighs> no you want me to try you might be able to. Oh man, maybe we you can get some You moved talent. it. You moved it. I don't think I. Oh, I moved the junk. Ooh. Yeah, and now it's just moving. Oh, I bet it stinks like crazy when we open it. I can't get it open. All right, let me get some channel locks. It'll probably bust and go all over my pants. Probably what I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, we got it. We got it. <sighs> The power of uh, channel locks. Oh. Uh, here, Wawa, here. Check it out. Check out salad dressing. I thought you yeah. liked salad dressing. Wait. Oh, it's still got the fork in there. Oh my God. Ooh, I... <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> Do you smell it? Yeah, it smells terrible. <coughs> you throw it away. Oh my, oh. God, away. oh my gosh. She probably eat it. You smell it, don't you? Throw it away. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna put this on the shelf. <coughs> oh, man. I came close to puking on that one. Oh, gross. So we got one of the teeth off the hay rake here. Our alternator bolts I couldn't find when we put this thing together. Touch up. Touch up paint. We got two more belts, but they're all, look how short these belts are. What takes a belt that short? I'm gonna keep them anyway. It's not RC. We found these balls in there last time. Feel how heavy those are. How much glass is oh, in them? Oh my Lord. Feel that, Wawa. Well, you can see it on the, from the outside. Oh, my lord. So we'll wash them and keep them. Those are cool. Yeah. This, I wonder how, if you know how all these balls are, let us know. I know sometimes they have numbers on the ball. I should look. 
This one says 85. I don't know if you can see it. That's I don't it. think mine say anything. Well, I think mine used to say something where it's really faint. Definitely an old farm truck. Got the co-op notepad there. A brand new tube of grease. Never even yeah. been opened. Exxon. We'll keep that too, Ralph. We put that in the keep pile. Okay. Truck you haul water dispenser they've turned into a funnel. Looks like one of Ralphie's socks here. You could use that. Keep that too. Put it in the keep pile, son. <sighs> Looks like we have a receipt from 1982, but that's about all we can make out here. Oh, wait. Maybe we can see more. This is from the Exxon in Crossville, Tennessee. Kind of where I grew up. $22.87. I wonder if he bought, like, those touch-up cans and that. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It, I, it's all ate up by worms or something. So we got the upper half to our gun rack here. Ralphie, if you get some screws, you can put this up. Plastic strips. Oh, is this Band-Aids? Oh, no way. It's still usable? Shoot. Keep pile. What does that guy do? Huh. Somebody tell me what that is. It's threaded. Looks like 5 sixteenths. I don't know what that does, though. We'll put it in the keep pile. The original owner's manual. Should we keep it? I mean, I guess it's, yeah. Looks a little bit, uh, uh It's not in the best shredded. shape. Yeah, it's not in the best shape, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Keep power, Ralphie, keep power. Ignition parts, Niehoff. Nothing in there, though. I don't think these speakers are any good, Ralph. You can put them in the scrap pile. We'll get a dollar out of that. We also got the four broke valves we took out of these heads. We're, this is gonna stay with the truck forever. We can't get rid of them, can we? Ralphie's trying to fix the gun rack right now. I don't think that armrest is going to be salvageable. What is that? Oh, that's the owner's manual for the CR1657EU radio this thing's got. Might want well to keep that. We can get her tuned in. We got our helper. We got our helper, Oliver. We watch him from time to time, and we got him for the next couple days. So, you going to be in the videos? No. He's shy. He's shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's okay. We got to clean <laughs> this truck up. See what we got. So while you're gone, I opened this. No, you didn't. Yeah. Are yeah, you kidding me? Come here, here. No. Come here. No. Look, Josh. They, they left a spoon in there. <laughs> here. Let me see. Let me see. Wait. <coughs> Let me see. Let me see. <coughs> that almost threw up. That's awful. It literally, I can smell from here, Dad. They was, that eating, it. <coughs> they was eating it out of the jar. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? It's as old as you, Dad. That's Whoa. disgusting. Oh my gosh. So we have 11 12 gauge shotgun shells here that were in there. I don't think they're usable anymore, but don't tempt me. This may have been somebody's hunting rig, huh? You think so? Maybe. Maybe. They may have bagged them a deer in this truck. One and a half pints, one pint. Something fertilizer. Trees and vineyards, oh. sugar beets. So this is something to do with farming again here. Yeah, I guess this is where it was bought. Bill something Chevrolet Olds. That's probably where it was bought new right there. We found this in the last one. Mel sterilization procedure. So I'm gonna study this one. Oh Lord. All right, we're gonna put that away. <laughs> So we got the glove box open here. These people like their Pepsi for sure. I wonder if any of this says anything. First National Bank of Crossville, $50. We got more Exxon in Crossville, 1981. Look how old this is. It starts with a 1970 whatever. <laughs> 1977, BJ Parts Company, Crossville, Tennessee. So the service tag here is still there. V8 350. Special two-tone paint, Sierra Grande equipped, Glenwood Green's the color, has heavy-duty front and rear shocks, turbo hydromatic transmission, a heavy-duty radiator. So it had some options to it. That's pretty cool. It's got this big tray back here on the seat. Oh, there's so much bugs. Bugs? Ew. They Don't all just called out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ma says no. Uh, I see a ridge. Yeah, I do too. I don't do bugs. That's like no. This is the soil sample box as we saw. So you mail in your soil samples to Nashville. We used to do that on the farm. That's a good 5 8 wrench. 
We keep getting tools out of these cars. All right, let's go to the other side. Fentress County Fair, Jamestown. I see a truck. It's a show, isn't it? Yeah. Tractor and truck Hello. show, August 29th. So it's an old tractor and truck show, probably back in the early 80s or late 70s. Is that it? Yeah. So we got our gun rack back. That, look how narrow that gun rack is. I just noticed that. Shouldn't it be bent out farther? Oh, you crank out there. Oh, it's really... Maybe it's made to hold them though. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Michelob. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a styrofoam. Is that about it for the cab? I think so. We may have to just rip this mat out, but if we do, we may not have anything under it. Yeah, it might be your floor. Oh, we got some up here on the dash. Some glass fuses. Oh, are they oh still my in there? Gosh. Oh, wow. It's brittle. Look, we got a casing patch. Still Is brand new to plastic. Yeah. Oh, I'll use that right but, there on my water hose. Yeah, use that on your water hose. Put that in the keep pile, honey. I think that's about it. We got a master link here for some sort of chain on a tractor. Where's you, she taking you? You let her drive you? I'm running away. Pretty sure there's a substantial amount of bolts and nuts in the cred line here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They all got stuck in the dirt. We don't have much rockers left to this thing. Well, that's maybe what we'll hold, holding it together. What is this? Oh. Whatever they were, were the were squares and they melted. 2.5 milligrams or something. There's points in here. These weren't for this truck because this truck has HEI ignition. So I think what we ought to do now, guys, is just pressure wash the thing. Maybe even pressure wash the inside. See what kind of shape some of this stuff's in and get it cleaned up enough to where we can work on it. After we get it cleaned up, we're going to drop the transmission pan and see what we got inside the pan. Maybe it's something... A lot of you guys were saying in the comments that maybe the transmission just needs a pan cleaned out and flushed and new fluid. So we're going to try dropping the pan, seeing what we can find out there, and look into our full drive hose. But first, let's clearly clean this thing up a little bit. He's trying to mouth hunt without Granny to go get him. Oh, okay. Flip hair. Ralphie wants to try to start it. Oh, whoa. Wait, 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 before you skip past this, this is not a paid advertisement, okay? Most of you who watch our videos have family members that are truckers or friends that are truckers, or maybe even you're a trucker. I see you in the comments. The St. Christopher's Truckers Relief Fund is a nonprofit fund that helps truckers when they have illnesses. Truckers are the backbone of our country. If you bought something, truckers brought it there. When truckers have a medical issue that takes them off the road, FCF steps in by helping pay for necessities like your rent, your mortgage, utilities, insurance premiums, vehicle payments. They also offer health and wellness programs like trying to prevent certain things before they happen like diabetes, helping to quit smoking, flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. And these programs are offered to any over-the-road truck driver with a valid CDL. You can learn more about SCF, apply for assistance, or make a donation at truckersfund.org. They're out here doing good work for truckers, so we're trying to help them out too. If it wasn't for truckers, everything would be at a standstill. So please go to truckersfund.org and make a donation or sign up for assistance if you need it. Now let's get back to the video.
You know, really, I'm cleaning the windshield there, and it's only got reversed. There you go. Like, now I can see to drive this thing. I'm surprised at how much color it has left yeah. in it, you know? I didn't expect it to be that bright. Clean your power cap. Walla wants to try it. surprised at how much it's bringing the color back. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to do that that much. I didn't either. It's got a big whiskey dent there with Bondo in it. We just need to use the water hose on that. But I kind of think we need to pressure wash the inside of the truck.
We may need to adjust the valves on that thing or something. Well, I was busy and forgot to put the old advertising in the Will It Start video, so we're putting in the cleanup video. General Motors made these trucks from 1973 to 1991, a huge run. Now, they went from single round headlights to square headlights to four headlights and all that, but uh, it was hard for me to find any GMC advertising much, so I had to put some Chevrolet in here too. The C-Series trucks were two-wheel drive, and the K-Series trucks were four-wheel drive, and from 73 to 81, they were all-wheel drive like this, where it's it's full-time four-wheel drive all the time. The General Motors designation for these was called the rounded line, but we all know them as square bodies. And I grew up in an era when these things were still on the road looking like new. So it's good to get one out and fix it that's been parked forever and get it back drivable again. So we're gonna rinse the rest of this bed out by hand so I don't end up with every bit of this on my face. Be back. And that's just like sitting out in the weather for 38 years. Nice. I think you're having too much fun with this. I guess there's not holes in the bed except for at the seams, huh? I thought the front might be completely rotted out. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Hey, there's a hole. Oh, man. Only rust hole in this truck. There's some, like, plate. Piece of a tractor. Peep. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, a bunch of them in there, huh? They're thick, too. It's some sort of tractor piece. You're noisy. Hey, wrench. Another wrench? Yeah. Man, this truck's paying off. Here, there's your scraper. <laughs> I mean, you're there's excavating. It's like not even wet under there. I really expected to find enormous holes underneath all this. Yeah. See, I think that that isn't a rusted hole. That's not, that's a bolt hole for the bed. Yeah, well this. Oh, so some bolts missing. Yeah, see right here, there's a bolt in that same spot. Yeah. What are y'all misfits doing? You've not been a bit of help. Well, this is gonna be a little bit of a clean up. It must have sat like at the corner of some trees. Or yeah. Something. The rusted out corners were very helpful in getting it rinsed out though. Mm, drains good, huh? It was nice. Cause you know, I usually get that dirt stuck in the corner. Not a problem here. But the middle of the bed is more solid than I thought it would be. I seriously thought this would have big holes all in it, but it's really just around the edges that it's rusted out for whatever That's reason. That's positive. Yeah. It's the seam sealer that over time has just hardened up and fell off from all the rust and everything else. All around here, seam sealer. So he's got an emergency Lunchable in his pocket. <laughs> oh, is she squealing at you? Oh, she smells that Lunchable. Look, she's trying to pick the garage door up to get to the cafe. Oh she's gonna break the garage door. She's super strong. Like yeah, she's strong. She's probably like as strong as you. She's Maybe even more. 200 pounds of fat muscle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, girl, back up, back up. I was also surprised how much color is coming back I with like the, like the green, green like floor mat, green. yeah. Looks really cool. They're designed to be washed out, you know? Maybe not the dash, but the rest of it. But I don't think we're hurting anything on this you one. You didn't hurt a darn thing on that. Yeah. Yeah, I smell stink bugs too. Wow, wow, come here, see if there's any stink bugs in there. Look for us. <laughs> I think we can get that folded back up under the pedals there and make it look a whole lot better. Well, unfortunately, because it's winter time, it's already getting dark. It's going to be dark here in just a minute. We got to get all our stuff put up before dark. So we are going to come back to this thing tomorrow. Probably a good thing anyway, because we need to let it, you know, dry out. We'll get up under it and see what we can find out about that transmission and the front differential stuff. All right, we'll see y'all in the morning. Sure. Sure. We're back. It's the next day. 
So it rained last night, unfortunately, but we're gonna crawl under here and drop this transmission pan and see what we got going on there. Also, we need to pull the caps off of the front hubs and see what's going on there. I tried to clean under here with the pressure washer best I could, but it's still kind of oily, isn't it? Yeah. Spin that drive shaft. See if it'll spin, the front one. Well, it's locked in, huh? I guess. So transfer case is doing its job. Probably the front hubs, huh? Yeah. People are saying in the comments there's something up with the front hubs. We're gonna end up getting wet. That bolt wasn't even tight. So this should be a turbo 350 transmission, I believe. Probably about one of the cheapest transmissions you can rebuild in the world. So maybe we can just fix this one. It'd be awesome though if we dropped the pan and the thing just stopped up or something. Right, right, though? Yeah. I need to get a pan under it. Three bolts left. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just started leaking all of a sudden. We didn't even touch it, it just all of a sudden started leaking. It looks red, doesn't it? Yeah. So it doesn't really smell that burnt to me. Let's see what uh, mysteries await us, Ralphie. Oh, on my arm. On, oh, on my coat. Okay. That didn't go as planned. Oh, great. I just soaked my arm, my coat shirt everything sweet look at my shirt that's disgusting oh great okay we changed clothes oh see the grip yeah. see how chunky that looks it looks pretty chunky it doesn't smell burnt though but it does look like it has quite a bit of metal in the pan it's oh like yeah calm. look at that metal you see the glitter yeah. oh yeah see all that yeah we got some sort of major issue here feel it ralphie Digging it. It's hard, and then you realize it's. Oh my lord! So that is looks like a lot of friction material huh. off the clutches. It's gritty. Look, rubbing your hand. Yeah. Hold yeah. On. It looks like it's gonna need a rebuild. Ew. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. not a good sign there. Once you start moving around, it, it's a bunch of metal paste. You see how gray it looks now? Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I think that's a wasp. Oh, gross. I think it's a wasp or a dirt dauber. Yeah, it is. Tell me if it's burnt. Wawa, tell me. No, Try, I just... Here, smell it close. It might be. <laughs> that was not funny. <laughs> Look at her. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, what did you do? You always mess with me. I'm sorry. You might as well go inside. It. Here, rub your nose on my shirt. You might as well go inside and clean oh, up. I'm there sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> It better call I couldn't help it. Now it's on your dad. forehead. Oh, Lord. Just man. go inside. You're good wall. now. You're good. I couldn't help it. That's so mean. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I bet if this had a magnet in the bottom of it, it would have been super fuzzy with this stuff right here. It's not looking good for the health of this transmission. We kind of knew that, though. Looks like it's going to need a rebuild or a replace. I think we've seen enough there. Let me look at the filter real quick. But I would think if it's got enough fluid pressure to take reverse fine, it would have enough to go in the drive, but I'm no transmission scientist either. Well, I took the first screw out. Look how much metal is coming out of that filter. Definitely had some major issues there. Oh, well, it's dirty. Look at that. So all this is the filter material that it goes through. Look how much junk is in that. Yeah, look at all that metal. Looks like we're panning for gold here, doesn't it? Look. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big chunk. We've hit the money pit. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's a big chunk right there. Ralphie's almost got the front hub covers off here. So this truck is supposed to be full-time four-wheel drive. The transfer case does not have a two-wheel drive option. It didn't have locking hubs, apparently, from the factory, even. I'm going to get this side in to get this side out. Oh, you got it now. Guys. Guys are saying that there's supposed to be a gear or whatever that goes in here that locks these splines to those splines. Why would someone have taken that out? We you know? Drive. Looks like there's like a snap ring gro groove there. You'll have to forgive me on my full drive ignorance. I just haven't messed with it much. So we're going to have to get this piece to uh, get this full drive back working. It looks like if we have that, we'll have full drive. Really, first we need to fix this transmission to get it going again because it's not much use to have full drive if you only got reverse. Right, Ralph? So we might as well do a walk around here and kind of show how much rust this truck has, what's saveable, what isn't. I have not seen any rust in this frame, really. It looks like the frame is really solid. So that's good news. Uh, bad news is, obviously, the bed needs probably completely replaced. 
it's got rust in the bottoms of everything like you've probably seen all these seams in here rust out the floor did surprise me but i guess you could put bed sides and wheel tubs in it and make it work but really it probably just needs a whole bed <laughs> honestly probably every body panel needs to be replaced look at our cab over here it would definitely need a cab unless you bought every piece and just built yourself a cab there's a transfer case that's full-time full drive the glass is pretty good shape it's a little hazy around the windshield yeah it's a rough truck i mean it needs probably basically every piece of the body replaced if you were going to make it a nice looking truck again because the bottoms of all this is rust out and we think this truck just spent too much time around cow dookie and fertilizer on the farm being in tennessee it shouldn't have been around a lot of salt with snow this rocker over here is in better shape but you still got holes all the way through it there what do you think the plan should be with this thing ralphie i feel like what we should do is fix the transmission, fix the front four drive, maybe put a hood on it, cause it really needs a hood. The hood is like not even usable, honestly. It's so bad. We could put some new casings on it, get rid of these power cats, unfortunately. Like 40s on it. And this could be our four drive rig. And mm -hmm. that way you wouldn't really worry about beating it up cause it's already yeah. kind of beat up and rusted. I say 40s on it. 40s man that's aggressive these are like 31s probably let's get underneath it and show you the bottom of the cab and stuff so this is the driver's side and you can see it's it's not too bad honestly in the floor pans it's just the rockers and stuff so i really think it was just stuff slinging off the casings and getting up in here and rusting this out because it's not rusted out in the floor surprisingly that really does surprise me now that i get under here i, I expected to see pretty much no floors left and honestly the floors are not that bad of shape there's a little bit right there but not too bad really and the frame looks super solid just has surface rust on it only i don't see anything wrong with the frame whatsoever they just slung too much cow dookie and fertilizer i think on this thing the floors are solid under there what we basically need to replace every body panel or we need to leave it how it is fix the transmission fix the four drive hubs put a hood on it and use it as a full drive truck off road. Yeah, I and say hay, it. hay. Hey, what? Hey, right over. He heard me. <laughs> Scooty, what are you doing out here? We're going to see if we can put this floor mat back in place. I don't know if it's possible. Ooh, okay. It's a uh, brittle beans. Brittle beans. I want to try to stuff it back underneath here though. Robbie, see if you can get your side. I do like the green. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Looking. It's retro. There we go. Maybe we should like screw it down, huh? Yeah, you so it should. doesn't fall down on itself. I don't know. I guess it's the heat and time. Thirty-eight years sitting outside and just rolled up on itself. I can't believe it's got floorboards. Yeah, the floors I'm, are all, solid. All the stuff we buy can look yeah. great, and the floorboards are gone. And this thing looks like it's the opposite of every car we've bought. Usually, the outside looks solid, and the floors are junk. This, the floors are solid. The outside looks terrible. I like it though, girl. Yeah. I, I can see you now. Get her driving. I want to go. We were digging trying to get the seat belts out. There's a bag of these. I honestly don't know what those are. Do you know, Ralphie? No. Somebody will know in the comments. Somebody will tell us. Oh, I see another something under here. I think you're going to like it. Look, it's old. Oh, my God. Pepsi Cola. Catch the Pepsi it. spirit. I don't know. It's fat looking, isn't it? It's got to be newer than the other ones. Has it got Pepsi in it? Oh my oh, gosh. It's still got Pepsi in it. No, Scooty. Don't drink it. The old pull tab Pepsi. Man, they were some Pepsi hey, fanatics. I like this Pepsi. This says, this says 81. 1981? Yeah, right there. Well, that's right before the truck was parked. That makes sense. What was that? Avon. I think Air freshener? It says Avon. <laughs> Avon Country Meadow Room Freshener. I think See if it, it says. works. Can I try to spray it? Oh, Can yeah. I spray it. Oh, wait. Spray it. No way. Does it smell good though? I don't even it smell it. Did, did you see him take off after <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to like yeah, bump yeah. heads. <laughs> don't spray it right at me. Ah! It smells good. I do smell no, it. I smell, I I smell I thank smell you. It. That's good. That's works. good. That's good. We'll use that. We'll use that. We're not using that. It smells like a. I can't believe that still has pressure. 90 year old woman. <laughs> we were able to dig our gm seat belts out so we got seat belts now wash them off along with the rest of the interior man it's kind of unbelievable what this thing went through in eight years on the road and only fifty-five thousand miles with one owner you know there's really only one thing left to do get a little freshness oh my you know Rody. also this right here this doubles, as <laughs> doubles as cologne so now 
truck's <laughs> gonna be fresh. Ralphie's gonna be fresh. Mm, that but, smells fantastic. I mean, there was a few surprises in this, you know? It actually, the paint had more color left in it than I thought it would. Cause I thought, we'll pressure wash this, the paint will just blow off of it. But it actually has some, a little bit of paint left on it. I thought we would, we would end up with more holes than what we had. Yeah. Uh, the bed floor surprised me. The bottom of the cab is solid. That really surprised me. I thought for sure if you took this rubber mat up, there'd be nothing left, but it's solid under there. It surprises me how it's not crazy loud considering it's open headers, you know? Yeah. You showed up for the ending? Yes, yes. <laughs> we appreciate you watching. As always, we couldn't do this without you. If it wasn't for you guys, we'd just be making home videos. That's all we'd be doing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But <laughs> what? I thought you were ready for that, bro. I think we're gonna try to fix it. We just need to get some stuff. <laughs> what? what did you do? How am I supposed to open this? Well, how did you do that? I I've never know. seen this. What'd you, what'd you, A, B, C, D? <laughs> Trying to see who you're in love with you there. But you'll see more videos of this truck. We just gotta get some stuff to redo the transmission uh, or get another transmission for it. We also need to get some brake stuff to fix the brakes on it once we get the transmission going. Pour but, it after your homies. Exactly. Pour That's it after your homies, homies, drink your RC colas, and feed the baby birds as well. Is that barbecue That's bourbon barbecue, sis. Oh, here you go. I mean, the engine runs good. It's be a shame not to fix it with the frame solid, the engine runs good. It looks like the deferentials are in good shape. I think the thing is fixable for sure. But you can check out our second channel app. Super two. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. You can buy our merchandise down below. We got the OG Sleeper Dude station wagon shirts. That's unfortunate shirts. Rocky Christmas shirts. We got I Love Wawa shirts. We need to make a slink out shirt or something. Or it ain't easy being squeezy. Thank you to everybody that does the super thanks. Thank you to all our members. We really appreciate that. It really helps us out. We better get out here to Rocky, though, and Vienna. You know, they're going to be mad if they don't get something to eat or drink in this. A little bit shorter of a video this time. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked the video. Let's go give him something to eat. What is he doing? Rocky, Look what at him. Ah. What are you doing, bro? He's busted out. You yeah. got hay everywhere. Oh, get in. Get in. Come on, Daddy's got the Here stuff. Go. Oh, she's squatting. Oh, oh did you take a knee for it? Is that good? Look for the pig. She huh? loves it. Here. How did you get that all over Look at you? him. He looks ridiculous. What are you doing? You got your halo Rocky on? Funny. Huh. What about Rocky <laughs> Jr.? Does Rocky Jr. want some? Oh, oh. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh. Carrying on the tradition. Look, look at Lupe. She's just licking. Here, Lupe. I can't believe they've all started liking them now. They used to never eat look them. Look at their little bourbon barbecue lips. It must be Only Rocky greedy. would eat them. You gonna share some Wait, with your boy? What about Sketch Cat? You like the juice, don't you? Ooh, that's oh, good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got in your nose, buddy. Mmm, good to the last drop. Remember, Jesus saves <laughs> and George Nelson withdraws. Who cut the cheese? She's trying to slink out. Uh, <laughs> Get her. Come on. Bye. Her bye. 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 You say bye. Say bye, Oliver. Tell him bye. I'm going to go make me a sandwich with some salad dressing. Blech. He's sitting on his head, chasing his own tail, kicking himself. What are you doing, kitty?